Quick, turn it from here. Your little window, your door's open too. Quick, turn a little bit. How cool is that, kids? Thanks, Dave. Hey, man, you're welcome. Not a problem. All right. Uh, so I've been uh, plowing through the palmettos and stepping over stuff and going through vines through this, uh, this thick jungle. And uh, of course, you probably know by now that I am uh, joined by a person I've become really good friends with. Uh, if you know my channel, you know him. He's one of the nicest, smartest, talented, uh, generous people that, that, that I've ever met. Um, uh, just an all-around guy, of course, I'm talking about. Go oh, on, you know, I mean, Jungle Jay, take a bow. <laughs> Hey All right. Everybody. So yeah, we're chasing through uh, Jungle Jay's jungle here, mm -hmm. and we're going to try to find a place to hole up for a couple days. Uh, get out, do some exploring tomorrow, and come back to base camp. Uh, looks like the rain's picking up. Camera's going away. But anyway, this is what we're doing. Yeah, man. We shouldn't. It shouldn't take long for us to find a camp. All right. Yeah. This hike's kicking my ass. I, I <laughs> you know. And he's yeah, carrying. He's carrying. He's oh, he's carrying a crap load of weight. <laughs> okay. So we were plowing through all these thick palmettos and stuff like that, going up and down and around. And then all of a sudden, we popped up into this here glade. And we both fought at the same time. This could be a cool spot, and I think it's got possibilities. So, we've been uh, cleared some dead palmetto branches around. Collected some firewood, set up our systems. Got the old brewmaster making tea over here. Cheers, mate. Hey, man. Got you a cup on brew. Put all that in there is dry. So I was telling Jay, this is really the first time, or the, actually only the second time that uh, I've had to do a uh, wet fire start. And uh, yeah, the other time was after a rainstorm in the morning when all my stuff in my pack got soaked. And uh, I had to desperately start a fire in an area that was basically picked clean uh, and really hard to get it going anyway. And then I had to dry out all my stuff, and I burned burned my socks. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway, I should have taken the camera, but man, went down to this. I tell you, this, this, this woodland down down here is freaking beautiful. I've never, never been into anything like it. You know, the palmettos are huge. The trees are tall. But you can walk around in, in the stuff. I mean, it's not like, you know, the area where I live where I've got, um, you know, it's just all choked out with brush and you just can't move around in the forest, you know. But, uh, yeah, it is a it's very, very special place. I can't, I can't imagine living anywhere else. It's a very special place. I, I love it here. I, um, it was years ago when I first set foot in Florida. Um, I was immediately enchanted by it. I was like, this is, this is what I've been waiting for all my life. It's, um, very, it's a subtropical region, but it's so tropical looking and, and the environment is just so right. I've always dreamed of living in a jungle-like environment and this is it, so. I got a great job and, and, uh, I live close, I live close to where I work and, and I'm surrounded by jungles just like this everywhere, everywhere you go, so. I can't imagine being anywhere else. You know, but uh, we're just processing our firewood. Look at this, look at this chunk of like, fat wood we got. This log is solid all the way down with that solid. Let me make sure I get a focus on that. Oh, it's not looking too good. Back it off a little. Down. Look at that. It's like 
It smells so good. I've had it driven down the ground, chopping little chunks off of the fire, but it smells so good. Wow, it's, it's a lumber yard. It's like. morning. We were treated to the sounds of motorized aircraft. Pretty interesting night. Uh, the woods are pretty active at night. Something ran through camp. It was pretty evident. We both heard it. Heard in a couple places. Something heavy moving fast. You know, nothing to freak out about. I mean, we just looked like, you know, just a couple of burritos to a bear or something like that. Well, it wasn't a bear. It was thrashing, moving pretty fast. It wasn't a deer either. But anyway, this is Jay getting into something. Yeah, my bag got real wet last night during setup, so I've got hung on a tree over here. Uh, looks like it should get, to get a good sun track and uh, dry over uh, over the course of the day. Hopefully, it works out. What you think, man? Just like it looks like in your videos, brother. <laughs> it's just, just, just gorgeous. Yeah, we're uh, stopped along the river here. We've been hiking for, I don't know, half an hour or whatever, taking me through all kinds of terrain. And uh, if you don't know already about Jay, there is no trail, necessarily. Jay navigates really well and uh, very keen powers of skills of observation you know i've been criticized you know, on my channel like that i don't really do anything on my channel well, i don't necessarily think that's true you know i'm out here and i share the stuff because i'm having a good time and it's all revelatory to me and i want to share that but also the other thing uh, is i like learning stuff you know you hang out with different people you get taught different things like you know where to spot snakes or whatever like that, you know. But, you know, we're just taking a little time out here, enjoying the breeze, hoping supposedly some otters that hang out around here. Maybe trying to spot them. That'd be good. There's a very, very rare sighting on this river to see to see otter activity. It's it's really cool. And they're pretty curious. They'll, they'll sort of come kind of near you, but they won't get close. And they'll... But just this year, um, a couple months ago, they were saying that there's otters out on another river out here in Central Florida that uh, the otters were attacking kayakers. I was like, well, what I, the heck brings that on? I, I don't know. Are the kayakers feeding otters or something? No, <laughs> yeah. I haven't a clue. But, but this uh, this spot is absolutely amazing. This is great. I like, and it's a nice cozy bank. There's, you know. And, wide open you can hear everything all around mm -hmm. pretty soon we'll I'll take you to some secret spots that, uh, yeah 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 Dave yeah. Jay just gone brother yeah all yeah. right cool he was just pointing out to me this alligator track that's a J track <laughs> and that's that's a, that's a deer track isn't it that's yeah, deer Jay drop, brought me to this tree here, you know, this is just a sable palm. But what's special about this, 
And I've only seen this on a much smaller scale. This is this live oak tree embracing this tree with two trunks. Now some of you all might have seen my tree sex video. This is just as cool, but it's not as kinky. It's a lot, of, lot prettier. Let's see what this looks like over here. Okay, there's two. Looks like I just crawled into this bark over here. Okay. Yeah, two trucks, but they joined. Yeah, that's just strange. That's cool. Okay, come up the fruits of the cabbage palm right here. Black ones are ready to eat. They're not too bad. Skin's kind of tough. It's got a mild flavor. Mm -hmm. A little sweet. Yeah, a little, a little sweet. Um, I was surprised at what I was putting in my mouth because I have <laughs> I've had saw palmetto berries, which are horrible in my opinion but yeah nice little surprise good to know mm -hmm. tastes a bit like dates mm -hmm. trying to sneak up on alligators Oh. Yeah, so we've been going through a lot of different terrain and stuff. Um, beach walking, you know, in the sun, through the jungle, across fields. Um, he's about to take me to his fishing hole. It looks like uh, a man's up to something over here. Might be getting some special treats. Anyway, yeah, I'm getting tired, uh, which is not, not unlike me, you know. Uh, and I get tired quicker. It's amazing how much the sun... Um, takes a lot out of me. Anybody, anyway, I just wanted to show uh, these uh, energy bars that uh, Jay made up for these trips. It's pretty good. It's very different. It's not like a cliff bar or anything. It's more more savory flavored. It's really good. So what do you got? What do you got um, in them? Well, this recipe, I change it up each time. Mm -hmm. um, but the basics are still there. The peanut butter, the honey, and the oatmeal. Those are the main basics. But I change up the ingredients a little bit. Uh, one of the things that um, I usually stick with is uh, 
you know, roasted uh, sunflower seeds and sesame seeds. I throw raw flax seed in, not flax seed, uh, chia seeds. Um, but this time around, I, I've had, I put in some organic uh, cranberries and uh, uh, dates. You know, I chop open the dates and take the seed out mm -hmm. and everything. And um, it's got cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and black pepper, and sprinkled with a little bit of table salt on top. So, and, uh, and then I roast it on top, and then they're good to go. Yeah, but yeah, you can see the basic basic recipe uh, on my channel, and uh, it's real simple to follow, and this is one of the easiest and best tasting Cliff Cliff Bar or Energy Bar type. Uh, snacks you can make yourself. I, mean, I don't. I don't even want to buy Cliff Bars anymore because these are so good. But, yeah. Um, you got almonds in there too. Mm -hmm. I buy like organic raw almonds and then I roast them myself. And then, but yeah, this is something else. These are so good. That's right, I just took here about a 10 or 15 minute nap here. Sitting near, laying down near the river by uh, Jason's favorite fishing place. Took my headband off my eyes, this is my view. I don't think I have ever done that. Napped underneath palm trees. Pretty sweet, but time to get up and go. We got stuff to do. Long way back. Good stuff, pussy on a few. Shit! Need some drop. Wow. <laughs> You will bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have to cross about a mile across this exposure right here. I don't know if you can see off on the horizon right up here, right about there. That's a climbing wall. That's about like 12 feet high or so. Uh, we came out near. It's way taller. Than way taller than that. that? Yeah. Okay. Well, we didn't walk up to it anyway. We came out. <laughs> we came out to the left of that, where that uh, leftmost saddle is about there but uh, when we came through here to where we just been we went all along this tree line to the to the, all along this tree height to the left and uh took the, we're taking a more direct route and uh see on the other side of that a cloud that went over us sun's about to come out again here we go Alright, only 10 more miles to go. This here this is a scarlet king snake we found in camp. <laughs> I don't seem to like the cameras. <laughs> Venomous fish, yeah. Two. It's easy to tell. See, there's a red and yellow killer fellow, red and black. You okay, Jack? Okay. And I have to do that rhyme in my head. Yeah. Every time, so. Sweet. Yeah. 
to get all my camera good. Campfire channel. Yeah, Jay and I are settling in for uh, our second and final night here, out here in Jay's jungle. And uh, so I'm going to wrap this up and uh, pick this up in the morning. If you want to see uh, what went on uh, on this night, Jungle Jay is putting out a Halloween special video. It'll probably be up about the same time uh, that this one is, and I will post a link to it in one of the end cards or uh, one of the pop-out thingies or in the description below. But anyway, Nate's signing off for the evening, and uh, pick this up in a minute. Good night, y'all. So it's the morning of day three of our jungle stealth camp. We woke to a uh, breezy, sunny morning, a little bit chilly. I think we're somewhere in the 60s as far as temperature goes, but it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Uh, a little more action, <coughs> excuse me, a little more action in the pre-dawn hours. Uh, we had some eagles going nuts around here. Uh, Jay suspects that we have a uh, an eagle's nest close by, but because we've seen a lot of action from them, but they really, before the sun came up, they really started uh, uh, making some noise from several different areas around our camp. And uh, I heard some other stuff too, but uh, it wasn't the coyotes that uh, Jay says he heard. He says he heard uh, coyotes on a couple of different occasions. So yeah, it was a pretty jumping morning. Yeah, a lot of places that I've, you know, camped and hiked at, you know, up in the uh, eastern woodlands or, you know, the Great Lakes area, the mornings blow up in a different way. You know, lots of songbirds, you know, as soon as the sun comes out, you know, they really, you know, you know bring it up and they'll, they'll wake you up. And it's the most beautiful alarm clock ever. And yesterday morning was very, was very quiet except for the uh, various aircraft that, uh, you know, like to go by. Uh, but this morning was different. There was a lot of action even before, you know, I started hearing any sort of airboats or anything like that. So it's been really, really interesting, this whole environment, you know, the wildlife, you know, finding that snake last night and, and uh, the epic hike that we did. Boy, you know, we only covered about, you know, five miles or so, but, you know, it, it, this is bushwhacking, you know, and, and it's in the heat and we take lots of rest and still get your butt kicked you know make it back and we're exhausted we have to you had to hike back up the car and get some get some more water for us because we had exhausted our supply and then we get together you know do the old nighttime tour thing and uh if you get a chance you know i didn't film much last night but you know if you get a chance you know go check out uh jay's channel because we put on a uh bit of a little halloween show for you all so uh, when you get a minute, jump over there and uh, and take a look at what we did. Yeah, it's been it's been a whole lot of fun. Jason's been an awesome awesome host, and uh, yeah, good times. Completely alien environment for me, where you know the, the palms grow huge, you know, and the forest isn't dense with you know wax myrtle and all the other dense ground cover. You're just you're really basically impassable you know by uh, by where i live but yeah really beautiful really jurassic looking you know it's just because it all grows so big it isn't because he's such an excellent cinematographer which he is but uh it's really this location guys man this is a uh, this is a real real cool place and i've had a great time Here's camp looking neat as ever. No 
Oh, catching Jay's in intimate moments here. Well, that's it. We've broken camp uh, and we're heading back and that is the second mid-month Halloween bug out. And uh, like I said last night, I'm trying to do this every year. And uh, But it was a lot of fun. We did loads of miles yesterday through this thick stuff here. And, Oh, it's just beautiful. It's I just Jurassic. love this place. Yeah, it's awesome. It's yeah, awesome, this man. guy was all plum tuckered out. Oh, was... yeah, man. I took a nap, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had some really interesting wildlife encounters last night. Lots of noises. Uh, like I said earlier, it was, uh, some coyotes we heard in the distance. I heard some south side of the river uh, up in the pastures, probably like 250, 300 yards that way. And uh, so. You know, my awareness is through the roof. I'm watching our food bags and, you know, but, you know, doze out and when things calm down. Woke up to beautiful sounds of eagles chirping this morning. That was something serious. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm not, man, thanks for having me along, man. So You're got, welcome. This, is, this has been amazing to be uh, invited by Jay. We somehow ended up on Friends through being friends with YouTube and stuff like that. And blah, 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 back and forth, you know, keyboard chat and stuff like that. And, and uh, ended up inviting me here. Just an amazing display of your woodsmanship and stuff like that. This, Thanks, guy, this guy is skilled. And one, of the, one, of the, one of the coolest, like I said earlier, it's like generous, creative, funny people uh, and, and a fantastic outdoors. But he, stuck, he sees stuff he's pointing out to me I can't even see, you know. It's like, and, uh, but yeah, what a great learning experience. And that's you know, what, I, what I'm here for, besides the adventure. And what a fantastic place you have. Oh, I'm glad you had a good time, yeah. man. That's, that's, I'm really honored that that uh, I was able to provide a good experience for you, man. Awesome, awesome. Hell yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out Nate's channel. I'll put a link in the description. You check out and Jungle Jay if you haven't. <laughs> so, all right, cool. Well, let's head on out, my man. Uh, I guess we're out. Let's do this. I'm tired. <laughs>